Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. So th this is just going to be a brief admonition to us all from the book of Psalms, chapter 5. Psalms 5, verse uh, 1 to 3. It says, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For David, in verse, my emphasis is in verse 3. For David, he said, my prayer, my voice will thou hear in the morning. My voice will you hear in the morning. It's a very simple question I just want to ask you. Who hears your voice in the morning? Unto whom do you submit your hearing? Who hears your voice? Whose voice do you also hear in the morning? In such a time and age where the, so the social media has become uh, the fastest and the easiest thing to reach out for, it makes it quite uh, uh, difficult for several believers to, to wake up and spend the early hours of the day consulting God. Sometimes so many people wake up, the first thing that hear their voice in the morning is WhatsApp status, uh, Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, and all kind of social media platforms. And those things are good in themselves, except that it is supposed to be that your testimony is that my voice, oh God, will you hear in the morning. I'm not going to spend hours beginning my day on WhatsApp status. I'm not going to spend hours beginning my day on Instagram. I want to spend my early hours with the Lord. How many of you have read of the life of David Brennard? Or have you read of John Wesley? Or probably you have heard of Smith Wigglesworth. And these guys are people who decide to throw their lives at God. At the wakings of the morning, some of them pray eight hours into the day. And now it's easy to say that they are useless, they are spending their time praying, there is more thing to do. Unfortunately, the person who is shouting there is more things, we have more things to do in our days and time. Those people who are shouting that have time to just, uh, you know, go through social media, go through WhatsApp status that has nothing with, to do with what they claim they have to do. So they spend all of their days on this platform without necessarily engaging God, without tapping into the God who actually founded their lives. Now, here's my counsel to you. You've got to cut down on your social media feeding. It will not add anything to your soul. Yes, regardless of the content you are getting there, please, first of all, consult God. In fact, listening to a sermon is very good. Hearing messages is very good. Watching the defined videos online is very good. However, none of us should replace your discussion with God. My voice, oh God, without hear in the morning. Let God hear your voice first and in the morning. Make it a priority. Let it become your pattern of living. God bless you.